Well, it's, it's kind of like I leave my book. It is still, if all of this happens the way that my research says it's going to happen and how I truly believe, and I, and I would not tell anybody anything that I thought was wrong. I, I'm really trying to tell in my research exactly what I found, and I'm trying to be truthful about it. And the intent is this. The, the book of Revelation says these things are going to happen. Typically, we, we as a group of people cannot change what I believe God has established, and that is an end time. And it's Satan and he are going to have a battle, and it's going to be at the battle of Armageddon, and that these things are going to come to pass. The thing that's most important to me is for me to show you that the Bible is true, and that the one and only important thing is for you to make sure the choice that you have made in this life, whether it is to follow Satan or whether it is to follow Jesus, that you have made that choice and that you are sure about your choice. Because many times people are led to be a part of organizations because it's a get ahead, but you pay the price with those organizations, even if you don't want to believe they're satanic. You need to have your eyes open, and I feel like my research opens your eyes, gives you the facts, and allows you the choice of how you want to spend eternity, because what the Bible says is going to happen. And I believe we're the generation that's going to see these things happen. So, here's a question for you. Um, you know, you, 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 in your book, you talk, you know, well, and you've talked about it here. You know, you talk about Gnosticism and Knights Templar and Freemasonry and, and, you know, all of the secret societies and all of the not so secret societies. Um, is there any, is there anything that, the way I'm looking at it from kind of the way you're presenting it is that, there, there should be no romanticizing any of this from the past that we just need to not be connected with with like all of that Does well that we know that's right we know that the biggest thing was is the temple of solomon when it was supposed to be built for jehovah yes and the moment that they started mixing paganism with jehovah he left the building the first commandment says you shall have no other God before me. You cannot, you cannot play with a serpent and expect to be on God's side. He told his Hebraic children, don't mix with it. Stay away from their religion. Do not yoke yourself together. And if you participate in those things, you are yoking yourself to them. And that means everything from putting a Christmas tree up inside of a church. Okay. You're talking about mixing paganism with true religion. Okay. It's the simple things of everyday life that we participate in and we get involved in that we have to make the choice. Do we follow the line of Satan, the pagans, and their things, or do we stay true to what we were told in the beginning, and that was to listen to God and not partake of Satan's wisdom. Okay, gotcha. So if everyone has a, a connection to God, to the Creator God, and we don't get caught up in, in all of this, because I do know from other people being on the show too, Dr. Joy, is that, you know, Everybody that that follows along with kind of the same similar aspects that you do say that there is no really second coming of Christ. That is that it's not going to be Christ, and that people are going to be caught up in the frenzy of that. And that if you stand true to yourself, then then you will be okay. The intent, I think, for what Satan is trying to do is make people think that they're, you know, it's just like saying you can be a God and, and you can live forever in the flesh. I mean, it's a promise that keeps you from allowing yourself to put yourself in the right uh, mindset to be saved. And I, I've, I've often dealt with people who said, well, you know, Joy, 
what if all of this is not the way it is and you die and that's just it? Okay, then I, I'm going to live my life as if something is going to happen because the Bible says it's going to happen. So that if I die and there is nothing, then I have still lived my life in the right way. If something is afterwards, then I have been the victor. And the person who has chosen to go the other way is the loser. And I guess either way, if I continue to follow this line, I win. Well, there you have it, Dr. Joyce. I told you she was going to shock you. There's a lot of stuff you probably still don't even believe or agree, but that's fine, because that's, that's where I wanted to do. I wanted to present some uh, shock treatment to you, and then uh, you could go ahead and research it. But if you don't really care about this, then, you know, it's just like, ah, really entertaining. But for me, it was very uh, illuminating, because there was a lot of stuff that I knew and that I already believed, and, and when she brought it up in a different light, I was like, wow, I didn't look at it that way. But, um, yeah, it was pretty interesting about the... Um, about the situation with Diane and all that stuff, that there was a lot of stuff that I didn't know. Um, a lot of stuff that I didn't know, different topics that she was uh, jumping, you know, back and forth. But uh, the book, I have to get it now after hearing this audio clip, because now I'm really interesting to see, you know, how, how she does it from the beginning all the way to the end. I want to see her, you know, I want to see her thought patterns, you know, how this all ties up. and. Uh, it's interesting that she mentions the Antichrist and all that and where he's probably going to be coming from. And it's, it's just pretty interesting. i just leave it at that. So, I hope uh, you enjoyed this one. I, I know you're probably going to enjoy this one because this is, this is kind of like a shock, treat, shock treatment. Because uh, this one, I know it goes against a lot of beliefs from my listeners because there was a lot of stuff that she said that it went against the stuff that I was brought up and taught. But like the way she had her questions, I had the same questions she did. And uh, they always asked her my questions. You know, I was brought up at Assemblies of God Church, and that's a Protestant church. And it was, you know, pretty much the Pentecostal movement. And uh, they uh, they just couldn't answer some stuff. And, they, you know, they just kind of leave it in the air. And, you know, there's some the certain things you're not need, you, you don't need to know, and certain things belong to God, the mysteries of God. Yeah, you've heard the same thing I've heard. But um, you always, you always want to find the truth, and uh, I applaud her, you know, and and and, and, and enjoy this uh, this this audio clip, you know. I can't wait to read the book. So I'm gonna sign out, guys. It's Sunday. It's in the afternoon right now, and uh, yeah, even if I'm sick, I'm still researching. But you know, I I love this kind of stuff. I'm always learning, and. Uh, but the thing about I like her, that I like about Dr. Joy is that she looks at it in a biblical perspective, all this stuff. And uh, that really, that really, uh, that really likes to fire up in me because I really love this stuff. And uh, I am going to sign out. So uh, you guys uh, enjoy Sunday. All you guys that went to church and all that stuff and worship God and whatnot. And for the ones that were lazy and the ones that were sick like me and that just chilled, you know, just uh, enjoy the day that God has made. And uh, you guys need to email me. Email me at ziggybeats at gmail.com. And, yes, I look at everything with a biblical perspective. I need God in my life. I cannot fight and expose all this stuff with God without God on my side. So yes, I am a believer. I believe in Jehovah. I believe in the Bible, the God of the Bible of the Old Testament, Yahweh, and I believe His Son, Yeshua, Jesus, and I believe in the Holy Ghost. The Ruach Hakodesh. That's the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit in Hebrew. And I hope I said it right. I'm learning Hebrew, so bear with me. I'll be here at the headquarters, banging away at the New World Order, and I'll see you again fourth watch.